So now, anybody have any questions? I don't want to keep you, you've already been here a couple of hours, and so in the interest of time, we'll move on to questions. Yes. Here, you want to use this one? I was uh, wondering about uh, what the Japanese government react after the movie. About the movie. They didn't care or what? Uh, I don't know what the Japanese, I'm not in touch with the Japanese government, but I'm sure they don't like the movie because it really exposed them, it exposed the International Whaling Commission and what they're doing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of information in this movie um, that the Japanese government would rather keep quiet. By the way, I like Japan, I like the Japanese people. The Japanese people are not guilty of what you see in this movie. And there's a worldwide boycott Boycott Japan, save the dolphins. Uh, we at Earth Island don't support the boycott. The boycott is a blanket indictment against all Japanese people. And Japanese people are not guilty. So we don't support the boycott. Most Japanese people don't even know this is going on because the media won't tell them. The media is controlled by the government. So don't blame Japan for what you see here. Yes. that dolphins will not survive, according to your experience. These dolphins, we all know that they're owned by uh, the same owner of the dolphin airline, China ship. Uh, what we use this um, argue, you're basing it on, that these dolphins are sure will not survive, but the dolphin airline ship has been operating and the dolphins are surviving. I'm not defending, I'm totally against any dolphinarians. But we want to base argues on what you're saying and we want to proceed and continue this campaign. What if we are told that the dolphins in Dolphin Ella, Sharma Sheik, for this, have survived and their ship? And what about we have also two dolphinarians, one in Cairo in the Egyptian media production city and another one in the Cairo Alex Desert Road. So we want to proceed with this campaign Hepka is leading. Now, here we are saying this is the Red Sea and dolphins are free in the Red Sea. But what about the uh, poor dolphins in the Egyptian media production city and the Cairo Alex Desert Road? Thank you. I have not seen the dolphin areas you're talking about. And so I'm basing my opinion, my personal opinion, on what I saw in the desert a couple of days ago. It's my personal opinion, they won't survive there. It's 110 degrees or something like that, and we will bore them to death. It's absolutely boring for a dolphin to be in a concrete box. We bore them to death, that's how they die. Hello, Rick? Yeah. Hi, my name is uh, Hassan Adli. I'm an instructor with uh, Global Underwater Explorers. And I've been in, a, in this community here, I've been a member of this community for the past 24 years. And I just want to say, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one here who has to say, um, wow, your movie is really moving, and I've, it's the first time I've ever seen it, and it is a very emotional experience to watch. I mean, bravo, your experience is unmatched. <laughs> Mr. O'Barry, I have a couple of questions that I prepared for you, but I must explain, I'm sorry if it will be a bit too long. He said, your film with, met with a strong resistance in Japan from Japanese nationalists. And this is because, you know, they, they, put, they viewed this film to be a, uh, a negative portrayal of their society and culture. They even succeeded in uh, stopping some screenings of your movie. Now, I'm not, I don't support this kind of nationalism. The reason I mention it is that I've heard from Hepke that right now you are currently shooting uh, for your next movie right here in Hagada. And uh, this is a really exciting prospect, but it kind of raises some concerns for those of us who live here and who work here. So my question is... Should our community that has gathered here today, we're a multicultural community here, be concerned about how our society will be portrayed in your upcoming feature? Okay, first of all, this is not my movie. 
I'm not a filmmaker. I don't profit from this movie or any movie in any way. The movie blurs the lines between the filmmakers and the activists. I'm an activist. And I'm, I work for Earth Island Institute. And we have a mandate to protect dolphins and other whales, marine mammals in general. Uh, so, in fact, when I worked on this film, uh, it was just a series of interviews. It wasn't any different than any other interview I do for CNN or the BBC or anybody. Uh, I'm not making a film here in Haggadah. Uh, the, the, the worldwide media is looking at Haggadah and there will probably be, be filmmakers here. I know the Japan Times is doing a story now uh, which will spread. New York Times and others will pick it up. So this story will get out. And one of the things that we are concerned with, and HEPCA is concerned with, is to make sure that um, the story is accurate. That people realize this is a very environmentally conscious community, and they are against dolphinariums. And I think that's pretty well established now with the Japan Times and others. But I'm not making a film. Yes, sir. <coughs> can you do? You can support HEPCA's effort to make sure that uh, the Dolphinarium is not successful here. If it's successful, the traffic in dolphins from Japan will continue. And it's the traffic in dolphins, I believe, in Taiji that keep the dolphin slaughter going. They only get five or six hundred dollars for a dead dolphin. For live dolphins, they get as much as one hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. So you can see the connection and do the math on that. We don't want the traffic in captive dolphins to succeed in Taiji. It succeeded here so far. Somehow they got here. There's some question as to whether that's legal or not. These things haven't been explored. HEPCA is working on that with lawyers to find out if this was legal. This may not be legal what happened here. So it's an ongoing story. Well, I'd like to know how they got here in the first place, too. Maybe that's what you, so people are asking, what can they do? Why don't you find out for me? You can do that better than I can. You live here. Start asking questions. People have to get involved. Don't wait for the government to do it. Start asking questions. How did they get here, and how do we get them out of here? They don't belong here. This is the wrong place. They picked the wrong place when they picked Pergata. I was trying to uh, stay on the profile, but forget it. In uh, 2005, um, CITES uh, agreed with the Egyptian government uh, in the Red Spot, uh, sorry, Spot Red Sea News to not import any more mammals to Egypt, but it was a verbal agreement. Uh, these have been brought in through the back door. Um, they were brought in by uh, ULS Airlines, which is a Turkish cargo airliner. If you've got pens and papers, maybe uh, some of you want to track these just to make sure where they came from. But the crates where the dolphins were carried on, um, they were brought in on crates on 50mm foam mattresses. Um, pictures have been sent around the internet and they're all over the place. Um, it's ULS Turkish Cargo, sorry, ULS Airlines, it's a Turkish cargo airline. The number for the import was 444-9902-6270. And it says to Hagado, to Hagado, sorry, to HRG, uh, 29 pieces. These are, what, these are the labels on two of the um, crates. Um, Somebody uh, needs to track them. I've asked him to bowl and not got back to the river. Um, I think that's it, really. Can I keep um, these? Do you have more of these? No, you can keep them by all means. Thank you. But the main thing is um, CITES have broken their agreement. So if, if everybody can email CITES, oh, it's 
CITES, asked them why they broke their agreement, in two, their verbal agreement in 2005, and it's, um, it's, a, it's a, oh, I have a link somewhere, uh, I'll send it to Hepke, if you want the link, you you'll find it from Hepke, I'll send the information to Hepke and we'll take it from there, okay? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Hepke has a website, and they keep, one more thing, sorry. Uh, there's a um, leaflet has been sent out, I forgot to say this, uh, for a new Dolphinarium that's about to open in November from McCarty Bay. It's a little flyer and it was on the back with a telephone number. It's been halted at the moment because of all this issue, but it's due to open in November. Uh, there's also another one being built in Magawish, I believe. Good. By the way, there were five more dolphins in Taiji that were scheduled to come here any day and HEPCA, working with the governor and the mayor, were able to stop that. So that's the good news. <laughs>